We're on the side of the highway, about 20 miles outside of Reykjavik. You can see this little guy spinning around all day, powering telecommunications equipment. Back in downtown Reykjavik, there's smaller versions of this sitting on top of a bus stop. They're powering a Wi-Fi base station, an advertising board, and a smartphone recharging station. In an industrial suburb on the edge of Reykjavik, a company called Icewind has set up shop in an abandoned coal power plant to build these turbines by hand. It's run by Thor, the company's business chief, and C. Thor, a former nuclear engineer. This type of turbine is called the Savonius vertical axis wind turbine. In case you missed it, that would be a Savonius vertical axis wind turbine for all you turbine noobs out there. Technically, it's an old technology. I mean, it dates back to the Persian Empire or something. We have taken this base design and kind of brought it to the modern age with modern materials, carbon fiber, stainless steel. We've made it really, really strong. We have engineered and cut the plates so that the turbine never goes on overspin. And uh, we've just done the system so it's really, really simple. And therefore, we can keep the price down but it also can take really, really harsh weather. And weather is a serious problem. This is what can happen to a conventional wind turbine when excessive wind speeds hit. In Iceland, windmills can last for about three years before the weather does them in. The shape of the ice wind turbines allows them to function in low wind, and to stop from spinning out of control in high wind. And beyond that, they just look cool. People, when they look at it, they don't realize what it is. They just think it's a sculpture or something. They're not thinking about this as an ugly energy production device. So, we started putting more emphasis on the design itself, how it looks, all the curves and stuff like that. Icewind has trials running throughout this country and expects to begin selling its turbines worldwide later this year. Thor is anxious to test out Iceland's ingenuity on a bigger stage. We've been isolated for a long time, and I think we're <laughs> fought for a long time for several different things. And this is just part of the fighting, inventing new things and going new ways.